All right, so today is the day. I'm finally going to put on the bumper, like I said. So, I'm not only doing the bumper, I actually got a few things. Uh, first of all, LED tag lights. I've been needing those. Uh, one of them I found out was out, so I'm gonna have to get that changed. Um, these are called the Diode Dynamic Tailless Turn Mod. Uh, basically, they'll change the way the turn signals work. They're no longer the incandescent bulb, they'll be the LEDs, which I did for the G35. I don't know if y'all saw that, or it's an old video on the channel, but. Yeah, I'll basically be doing that for this. It makes it look a lot cooler in my opinion, and it's a little just nitpicky thing I have since they don't make any really good aftermarket taillights for my car. So it would be just something I decided to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on removing the OEM bumper.
so while I'm at it, oh no. This is the best you're gonna get, cause I'm I don't like. Um, while I'm at it, I'm gonna change out these bulbs. these basically just bump right yeah. in between the fender and that little plastic piece right there. There's little clips. Probably be a good time to like introduce you. That I don't know. They probably can't see you. It's not live stream or anything, but that's Blaine. He's got the no nice. fucks given burnt Z <laughs> at the VQ house, so might be in a few videos later on. Hopefully. Um. so damn good only thing is i gotta buy these little inserts yeah the little dots mm -hmm. what the ipo has like reverse sensors, sensors. yeah oh, shit. you want something that fucking might suck a little bit tag lights i don't know if it mm. they were in the way they really know that they needed to go over the other way of the what you would call it so So, uh, <laughs> we're just gonna have to pull it out, pull this forward, lean it back over, and then put it back in. So, I, I, I hate to do this to you. <laughs> it's gonna suck, it's fine. It's gotta be done, I guess. Um.
All right, so these are the tailless turn mod. Basically, you how do how do I fucking get this apart? It plugs into the female and male side of the tail lights, just as it is. Just it's very simple, it, and it does very simple shit. But it makes the car to me look a lot better. So, my personal opinion, definitely worth the money. It's only like fifty bucks. Done. This is the easiest part of this fucking video for sure. <laughs> I can check out how that looks. Oh yeah, let me lower that down. So now, hmm, forget the fucking electronics gotta be on. Oh, that was dumb. individually too they still work yeah it is oh i can't wait also i think it's the lock and unlock button too makes it flash hey see that looks that looks so good to me it just makes the car look angry from behind i like it i like it for sure so Alright, well, I'm gonna cut to basically when I go to put the tips on just so I can align it up. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Huh. Yeah, I uh, I know one thing I definitely need to do is like clay bar. Yeah, clay you bar pretty much that. would do like the clay bar, then you buff and polish it. Huh. Damn, that's gonna suck, it's just how little my, sh my tips poke out. Yeah, cause now you're used to seeing the whole tip. Yeah. But you ain't gonna see the whole tip. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh well. I can tell you you're straight or not. See that at least it hooks up just a tad bit. Fucking bumper. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. What was that? Somebody closed the door and jumped upstairs. Some shit. <laughs> I thought it was the tip. Oh, no. I was like, bro. I got through on top of the house. <laughs> I was like, what'd you do? <laughs> Me with the express boxer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold up. I'm trying to remember. Okay, this way. That can see just fine, I hope. Oh, there it goes. Now it's lowering down. The one thing you're gonna have to worry about, like you don't have any control over it, is if you shoot flames, is it gonna turn into my bumper? Oh, most likely. It shouldn't, because your whole. Uh, don't, don't. The only reason I'm asking is my whole tip. Alright. That actually looks a lot better than I was thinking it would, because it pokes out just a tad bit.
What the hell? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> That's not on completely, but I can just look at this one and tell it's further close. It's closer in. <laughs> Welcome back to the world of uh, having upper holes that are never going to line up properly. Oh shit, that's bad. Like. <laughs> I'm trying to look at how far down there it is. Fuck me. <laughs> I knew this was probably going to be an issue. Very exhaust. Yeah. Alright, sell it, get the single one single. <laughs> Just sell it, get the single. It's less you gotta worry about. It's like, it goes on and then... Oh, don't tell me, is it just not able to go on straight? No, it's going on. Yeah, it's going on. I wonder if, uh... <laughs> Why is it... It's almost like... Because whenever you tightened it, this one moved. The whole exhaust is probably off. The entire exhaust all the way up might be off. It might, might not just be the rotation. Because oh, yeah. if I rotate it, it's just going to either lift it. Actually, no. It might. That might do it. Up. Yeah, it might. Stupid, stupid V-Bands. Fuck. I hate V-Bands. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> All the way fucking in. Oh, well, you're gonna. I'm gonna destroy my mother. Fucking flames. Now you can't get it out. No, it, it's it's still. It's just the, the top is getting caught. That's what's weird. I need to loosen this up like all the fucking way. Ropes. Oh no, the whole fucking thing came out. No, that it was already loosened. So what the hell was the problem? Motor die. What are you doing? I don't know, I think this looks really good with the motor nine though. Having over like a single exit, cause like yeah, Jared's yeah. looks good. Two tips looks good. But this is, oh yeah, this bumper's just made for two tips, I think. Is that like it came out enough or? So. Yeah, it looks pretty even. Yeah. <laughs> as even as you can tell. <laughs> I'm sure once I tighten it down, it'll like kind of center itself yeah. out. Just Try to tighten it to make it move more to the left. Your other one did that. Your other one was like really kind of off, and then whenever you tighten it, it moved. Ah, oh, so I should tighten this up for it to think. Tightening that side is going to pull it towards the house. You think so? Yeah. Why did it come out? <laughs> I did. I think I'm not tightening it the right way. It's because you're laying on the other side of it, so you thought you were tightening it, but you were loosening it. No. Oh, twist. God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's because I've done it a thousand times. So I, I know exactly like, what you did. It's like sweet and sick. <laughs> okay, well, either way, this side needs to go first, right? Well, what I'm thinking is, is like, as it tightens, it pushes in, so it's gonna... Oops. It's gonna push it outward, wouldn't it? Let me loosen this one, this side up just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Just tighten that side. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll, it'll do it. Seems like. Yeah, it's a little out. You can see in there. See how the tips go on. 
Oh, they are right on the edge. That's probably not good. So I'm going to have to scoot it back. They probably feel like that. No, Actually, they were further back. They were definitely further back. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, as long as they're tight, that'd make a difference. You can definitely tell that the tips were on there because of the black. If it was behind the tip, there wouldn't be black there. Like, if that pipe yeah. was slid on, it'd be more shiny. Right, you're right. I would be carbon and build up all the way I can get the TIG welder and just hit one. You can hit, get the what? Just one dot, <laughs> a tape welder, and just weld one little dot, so it'll be hard to take off and they won't fall off. Yeah, sure. Just... <laughs> God. So... What's weird is this side is further out, this side's further in. Yet it's still facing that way a little more. The whole exhaust. Yeah. But I can tell you from back here, it's not terribly off. It's not terribly off. Uh, it's kind of better, so, I guess. <laughs> so, I can't tell you from all the way back here. It's not that bad. I, mean, I just fucking tugged on it pretty hard and moved the whole exhaust. If that ain't gonna pull it off, yeah, then I'll pull it You can't actually. Oh, yeah, it's not too good. That's not gonna come off. Especially the bobbin garage. Not that. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I love it. All right. Cool. I think I can answer it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, there it is. The G37 IPL bumper. Obviously, it doesn't match too well with my current paint because this is a Moonlight White, which is the white color that came on the IPLs, and my color is a Ivory Pearl, which came on the older G37. So... They didn't have it, but I mean, it'll all be matched when I get it wrapped, but overall, I really like it. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Mr. Bevered over <laughs> here for uh, helping me out with the last little bit of it. Um, and by the way, that is his no fucks given Z down there. Looks really good. It's a vert. It's very broken. Very broken. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll probably do, we'll probably do, uh, some videos on his whenever his stuff comes in he's actually one of the three people that live at the vq house with me we've got the white z he's got a g37 but he drove up in the miata today but yeah once some things get rolling through for them i'll probably video and that'll probably become its own series as a whole the vq house so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one